Hey houseplant friends. So I have been dealing with my first pest problem and it has really not been fun. <laughs> um, at first I thought that I had the dreaded thrips. I posted a photo of some like speckled leaves to <clears throat> a Facebook group that I'm a part of. It's like a it's like a plant brainstorm group. Um and people were like zooming in to the leaf being like there's thrips present or like whatever. And so I panicked. I panicked because I've never had thrips or really any pests before other than like fungus gnats and like the occasional webbing but like nothing really that crazy um so this was big for me I was like freaking out and this is also like really bad timing because my partner had COVID and my plants had pests I was like really upset and so <clears throat> naturally I got a lot of people sent me like really amazing like advice and like comforting things and I got some Captain Jacks and like furiously sprayed down like a whole row of plants because I was just kind of like I can't have this and so I did that but then I kind of realized like after a while it didn't really feel like it was doing anything um and I sort of messaged this person that was like giving me a lot of advice and so I was like hey can I message you some questions or whatever and I sent them like some closer up pics and I was like I think it's spider mites um and so I didn't like see any webbing but when I zoomed in they looked like little teeny tiny white spiders and they were just like sucking the life from my plants specifically I noticed it first on my philodendron brazil which was is like one of my oldest plants really bummed about it um I think I have it under control now surprisingly what really helped was like completely submerging my plants in soapy water and at first I was like "Ooh, I don't know if the soap is gonna hurt the plant etc it was totally fine and I haven't seen any since I haven't seen a single one and the person that was giving me advice was like hey like you know you might want to like <clears throat> treat a couple times just to make sure you get rid of all the eggs um, and yeah, I mean, I haven't seen anything. It's been a week or so since I've seen anything. I feel like I might treat again just in case. I mean, maybe the Captain Jacks did work really well, but like I was still, honestly, I think the first thing to do is to just wash the plant, like get all of the buggies off. Um, and that, that really, really helped. Honestly, I'm like, why did I spend like eight? dollars on this spray when I could just wash this shit but yeah I have my eyes peeled it was really like I didn't know that spider mites could do damage like that like I thought that other bugs could do damage like way worse than spider mites but like damn like they were all like hiding in like the newer leaves and I was like these bitches they really sucked. I mean, I'm really relieved I didn't have thrips because I feel like those are really even harder to, like, get rid of and harder to find on your plants. And you just see damage and, like, thrip poop, apparently. Um, but, yeah, this has been... Like, I have it under control now. Like, I was really freaked out because people have just, like, talked so much about pests, like, annihilating their collections. And I think I'm on the ups now. Um... So here are two babies that I'm like pretty sure still don't have spider mites even though I've treated them a couple of times um, and I thought that I was in the clear and then I started seeing this again which is really unfortunate like I thought that I don't know I, I'm sure that you can tell that like why it's so confusing what type of damage this is because um yeah I don't know it's just like kind of ambiguous but definitely present um my 
Daddy Hammer is like going so crazy. I love it so much. Um, he ended up putting a moss pole in there for it. Got a lot of fungus knots I need to take care of too. I have like a bunch of propagations up here. I recently potted some of them. Um, I'll show you those too. Props in here. Got neon pothos, regular pothos. Both of which I would probably like bring to a swap. And for the first time I'm also propagating my, oops, my pink princess in here. And I was really nervous about it, but I think that she has roots. It's hard to see, but there's roots coming. Really excited about that. I also have like a Syngonium cutting, some Marble Queen, and Monstera Sotopicana cutting in here, all of which would come to a swap with me if such one that happens. Got some more cuttings in here, Mikan's Pink Princess. Um, those would come with me. And yeah, I still have a ton more like enjoy cuttings, post cuttings, some string of bananas, some peperomias um, that I'm propagating. This is all I chopped up my Ansonia that was looking crazy in my last video um, or in my cleaning my IKEA greenhouse video. So I chopped it all up and we rooted it and now it's in sphagnum moss. Um, and so yeah, my Cartesia is like going off. Let's see. Like she's getting big. Like there's a lot of stuff happening. Um also my petiole is like ooh, ooh. I don't know if these are supposed to be staked. I kind of don't really know what to do with it. All of my fungus nets are coming back. Ugh. Um anyway. All of my string oves are like super dry, like no matter how much I water them. Um they're good my string of arrows like i didn't think i was gonna like this plant that much but like i actually kind of really do she's been an easy grower um yeah my hoya my hoya what's it called hoya compacta has been growing really quickly all of a sudden like it wasn't growing at all and now it's growing really fast um i'm excited to see what happens with that all of my baby propagations like it's getting out of hand all of my peperomias that need to find a home all of these mother of thousands i need to get rid of um got a lemon lime uh what are you that is a enjoy a mikens growing and a puntia back there so like yeah i think i just like really need to downsize oh more peperomia in this cloche and there's just a shit ton of um brazil cuttings oh geez in there from when i chopped it up my silver sword is getting so tall oh my god look a new leaf hell yeah um yeah Fungus not central every time I open this freaking greenhouse. Ignore my laundry, but I don't know about you guys, but like my pink princess is always doing this like thing where the leaves are curling like this. And I'm like they just always look so like sort of unhappy, like whether I water them too much, whether I water them not enough, like they just are so like testy and it's been like this since i got it like it looked so amazing when i brought it home and then like it just kind of does this like leaf curling thing in other fun news my pink princess is rooting i've never done the cutting of this one before um but i'm really relieved that that's working let me see if i can get a better pick yeah that's good. I got a new really pink leaf on my ruby ficus. And that's looking good. I'm excited because I'm hopefully planning a plant swap exchange with another plant content person. And that should be happening in August or like early September. And I'm super excited about that because I have like 
tons of baby plants that I just don't have time, energy, or space for that I would love to trade. Um, and so yeah, stay tuned for that. There's going to be a graphic, hopefully, that I'm going to make and put out about it. Um, so like local Philly people can come and bring plants and swap them. Um, and yeah, I guess I'll like give some general updates about things that are going well and some things that have popped off. I'm the person that's been giving me a lot of advice about my plants is offering me an El Choco red cutting and I am dying like they're just gonna give me one for free I'm really excited I hope that I can meet this person soon we don't have like a plan in mind but like they told me they would give me one and I'm just like <laughs> me um so El Choco red might be coming to my collection and I think that if there's any other general updates my channel has been getting like 10,000 new views a day which is like a really big deal for me because I just started um I'm like accepting sponsorships now which is like a big deal and I literally just started I only have eight videos so if you like my videos give me a thumbs up and I'll make some more I want to keep doing it because I'm having fun um yeah, so I'm also thinking about doing a, like, video collection of, like, rapid tours of, like, local plant shops. Like, doing, like, all of them in one day in Philly, if possible. Hopefully, like, four at a time. With a good friend of mine. And that would be coming to the channel. I also have a thought about doing, like, um, house tours of some of my friends that have, like, really sick collections and houses. Um... And so that's like something else that would probably be coming to the channel soon. Oh. Oh.